Good afternoon, this is Bear the Tinker. I'm here to talk about archery. It's a traditional form and a primitive form. What's the difference between primitive and traditional archery? Well, both of them, their style of shooting is pretty much the same. The difference is in the bows. The traditional modern bow today, although this is a bow from 1953, is a glass and wood laminated bow. The reason why it's called traditional is because it still follows the form of the old bows that preceded it when they were all made of wood or uh, other materials that would help uh, give you the strength necessary to give speed to the arrow. So the bows that I make, although I do collect these fiberglass bows whenever I can get one, is, is an ash bow. This is a short flat bow but it still allows you to come to full draw. The full draw is the length that you come to a full rest at your cheek when you come to full draw. So with a short bow that can be a little bit tricky so if uh, you have longer arms you might end up breaking the bow. This is a one-piece ash bow just made of itself. Just a, a split log that was carved and uh, made into a bow. As a matter of fact it still has its baler twine first string on it until I make a proper string. So we'll go up and start shooting a bit. Here I'm using this uh, 1953 Bear Alaskan uh, uh, glass and wood bow. The bow is actually older than me by a year or two. And I'm placing it on the on the string. Now these are natural homemade arrows with turkey feathers that uh, I harvest from my, my own turkeys. And the process of aiming. If I was teaching you, the first thing I would be teaching you is uh, your... Uh, your posture, your body is, is, is uh, sideways to what you're aiming at, your feet are placed apart, one, one foot sort of turned towards the target, you look at what you're aiming at, you begin your draw, and an instinct of shooting, the draw is it, that's your, all the time you're going to have to aim is during that draw, there's no aiming, there's no stopping to aim, you, you look at your target, you draw your arrow, and you lose the arrow. <laughs> you ready? Okay. So now, now that we've spent a few minutes sweating and looking for a lost arrow which ricocheted off the fence, I've switched bows and now I'm going to shoot this, this uh, primitive bow. The primitive bow is different from the modern bow in that there is no rest. There's no rest for the arrow to sit on. So the rest is where the arrow sits on a modern bow. This one has two, so the, the, the bow is ambidextrous. This bow is ambidextrous too, but only for the fact that it has no rest on either side. So the arrow rests on your, on your hand. So when you place the, the arrow on your hand, you find the natural center of the bow. With this bow, it has a, almost a natural indicator because of a little knot in the wood. I didn't put it there. Nature did. So you set the, the arrow on the, on the bow, one feather out, two feathers in, because my feathers aren't marked. And so when you draw the arrow, the arrow slides on the knuckle of your hand, and that becomes your rest. Other than that, the shooting method is the same. And hopefully we will hit the target. So. This is a hardwood arrow. It's a bit heavier than my one that I just lost. And so I will draw, look at my mark, and the arrow shot low because it's a really heavy arrow. <laughs> yeah. There. That's better. I could lie to you and tell you I was aiming for the O in sun, <laughs> but that's about it. And I'll take one more shot. These ash bows are lethal up to about 25 paces if you have the right arrows, not these telephone poles that I'm shooting off this tiny little bow. This is about a 40, a 40 pound bow. 
and I'm shooting an arrow right now that's made for about a 70 pound bow so uh, you have to forgive it's uh, missing the missing part of it again you see Again, you're seating the arrow roughly about the middle of the bow. So where I grip, where I grip the bow, my hand ends where the half section of the bow ends. The bow, the arrow sits on top of my hand. I look at my mark, and I shoot. Now you can get a, a broadside view of how my bow bends, how the how symmetrical it is. Not all wooden bows are symmetrical. This one happens to be. So uh, when I draw, you'll see you see how symmetrical the limbs are. Sometimes in a wooden bow, one limb will be less symmetrical than the other. Unfortunately, that's the way wood is. All wood's different. And so when you uh, when you draw the bow. You're aiming to get a bow that's as symmetrical as possible. Ah, the pain. <laughs> anyway, so most of the arrows that we make here are, are traditionally made arrows. I make them by hand on a block with a carpenter's plane. The fletching for the arrows comes from my, from my turkey over there. And others of his kind. The bows can be short. Most of them are flat. I make long bows as well. This this is a, called a long flat bow. It's about uh, a 90, 80 to 90 pound draw, which is why I'm not going to shoot it today because my shoulder's acting up. But uh, it's a very nice shooting bow, and that's the heavy arrows that it shoots. Whereas the lighter bow requires a lighter arrow. So here's two different forms of flat boats. And both of them are, this one specifically is more sort of a North American native style. And this one would be sort of what preceded the longbow in England. The Celts used these uh, long before the, the longbow was around. Mostly because it's fairly easy to make a flat bow and the wood's not that, uh, you don't have to be as fussy with the wood. The longbow requires a, a very good piece of wood with no knots. But this is an ash bow therefore most of the ash trees are not perfect even though there's a knot in the wood you can still make make a bow as long as the knot doesn't come through on on the sap side of the wood so as long as you don't see the knot you might see a bump when you're making these bows don't try to flatten the bump because if you flatten the bump that's where it'll break you have to keep the cambium layer of the bow intact in order for the bow to bend properly so the cambium layer is that layer that's just underneath the bark when you peel the tree. And that's the layer of the tree that allows the tree to bend in the wind. And it allows the bow to bend for the archer. So that's about it. <laughs>